So I've had to be a lifelong frugalista. I've managed to dress well, and I have, I think, a lovely home, and we travel to Italy whenever we can, and we eat, we eat out as often as we can, all without spending money. And I want to make something clear here. I'm talking about being thrifty, not cheap. Cheap is something else. Cheap is nasty. Cheap is a rich person who's a lousy tipper. <laughs> or I'll give you an example of cheap. I had a friend who was uh, doing this online dating, and she spoke to some guy who sounded like a possibility, and they agreed to meet for brunch. So they're sitting in a restaurant, they're looking at the menu, and he puts down the menu, he says, listen, why don't we just split an order of toast? <laughs> and I said to her, if that had been me, I would have said, you have all the toast, I'll just split. <laughs> This is Armani Black Label Armani. I got it in a thrift store for $20. This is, what's her name? Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer Silk. I got it at a yard sale for $3 with the tag still on it. My jewelry, I don't know if any of you know Toxco from Mexico. It's all signed. This is all signed Toxco. Now here's the joke about my jewelry. I got it on eBay. Do any of you shop on eBay ever? Quite a few of you. Okay, here's the trick. When I looked for this jewelry, instead of put in, putting in Toxco silver, I put in Toxco sliver. I deliberately misspelled it because there's always someone who misspells it. So that when the items came up, there was no competition. So I got this bracelet for seven bucks. Like when we were in Rome, and the, even a lousy hotel was $200, and a nice one was a lot more than that. So what we did was we stayed in a, in a little suburb, a little bit out of town, seaside suburb called Fregole, what's it called? Fregole? Fregole. And we took the commuter train into town. It took like 25 minutes to get into town. Uh, and we had a nice hotel, a nice room, with breakfast for $80 a night. So there's a big difference between $80 a night and $250 or $300 a night. That's, you know, you can buy a lot of gelato for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I said the question, what's the best deal you ever got or ever heard of? A woman raised her hand. I found this hard to believe, but she, everyone there backed her up. And she said that her sister-in-law got a free kidney on crazy. That her sister-in-law had been on a list for a couple of years for a kidney transplant and nothing had come along. And this guy, he was either crazy or a very, very good Samaritan. He decided he wanted to donate one of his kidneys. And they were matched and she got the kidney and it saved her life. And I thought, well, talk about a bargain. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty incredible, right? I have a friend in New York who's an artist, who has a nice townhouse in Greenwich Village. When you walk into her home, she has, as I say, as I have, antiques and art and old lamps and beautiful rugs. And she got it all by calling the Department of Sanitation and asking them what days they do large object pickup on the Upper East Side. <laughs> and they said Friday, so every Thursday night she and her husband would get into their truck, they would go to Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue, Park Avenue, and people were putting out rare and valuable antiques just to be thrown away. And that's how she furnished her house. So Benny, Benny is artistic and he paints. And I said, can't you do, can't we keep these chairs and just do something to them so they won't look as ratty as they do. So let's see the next picture. This is what he's doing. By the way, everything I'm showing you is for sale, including clothes I'm wearing. <laughs> make me an offer. So he painted each chair individually. My, it adds a lot of riches to my dining room. When people come in, again, you know, you want to have a sense of pride of what you own. It was like my $1,200 gown. I have a sense of pride about these chairs that I would never have with something that I bought in a, you know, in a, in a store. So, and, and it cost, the cost was the cost of the paint. Now, of course, he's talented, but you can hire him. He'll come out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it.